everyone, welcome back to Akash Baiju's niche YouTube channel once again. I am Pushpendu and let me welcome you to this channel where we are doing live sessions for all possible grades, all possible courses and for everyone. And our target is that you do a very good result, you get a very good rank in the NEET examination. And we have the same thing for JEE also. Okay, so welcome back once again. I see a lot of students whom I have been teaching so far and they are live. Welcome back once again. Aditi, Sahil, Vishmita, Himanshu. Good evening, Himanshu. Farhan, welcome back. Vishmita, Sarojini. Sachin, Sachin. Welcome back, Bhavya. Welcome. Kiran, good evening. Lakshmi, wow. Khushi, ye dekhi hi maza jata hai. You know, you all are there. You are there. I'm good. Wish me that I'm perfectly fine. How are you all? Sab theek chal rahe? Oh, what's a, what a name. Relax <laughs> Fintech. Yes, sir. How are you? Great. Chalo, aaj fir se Animal Kingdom ka aur ek session padte hai. And we'll see what we are going to discuss today. If you have checked my Telegram post, you must have seen Today we are going to discuss about vertebrates. Both interesting sa cheese bata deta hon. And that's about ANTHC. We call it ANTHE. It's a Akash National Talent Hunt Examination. And kyu achha ye? Why this is wonderful? See the result. You, if you are a winner, you get the opportunity to go to NASA. And your all expenses will be bared by us yes but yes the competition it is tough you have to prepare yourself for that you do register see the dates 5th to 13th right sab kuch website mein mil jayega there are links in the description below also so date 6th and 13th for offline 5th to 13th online so give the examination grab this opportunity to go to nasa and that's free of cost Right? Well, so this is for class 8 to 12th. All of you from 8 to 12th, you are eligible. You can give this test. Hana, try this. Deepman, hello. So, request you all to register for this. Try it. Let me introduce you to the next series. And this is for the, this is for the droppers. And rather, I would say, People who would wish to give this examination once again. Hana? So Dropos batch is starting from has started from 1st of August. Schedule Deklo, Mondays and Wednesdays, 2 p.m. chemistry, 3 p.m. botany, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 p.m. physics, 3 p.m. zoology. Take. Please note this down. These are the Rockstar teachers for you. Vivek sir for chemistry, Pankudi ma'am for botany, Anushri ma'am for physics, and your favorite teacher, Sachin Kapoor sir for Zoology. Fine. So, if you have any inquiry for this dropper's batch, there are links in the description below. Check that out and ask all your doubts. Other than that, you know we are doing this mission MBBS session. The timings are 12th grade, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11th grade, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 6 p.m. These are the slots. And who are the teachers? Vivek sir, Anushri ma'am, Sachin sir, Pankudi ma'am and I am also there. Right? Target IAS UPSC sir, NEET 2024. Wow. That's a great target. Uh, okay. So, Anant, good evening. Abhilash, hello. Well, so, this session ka link sabse share kar do. Ask all your friends to come and join this session. See if they are also being helped by us. हम जिस तरीके से पढ़ाते हैं क्या उनको मजा आ रहा है नहीं यू नो जस्ट चेक दैट आउट डाउनलोड द ऐप यूज इट फ्री फॉर 14 डेज एंड चेक हाउ वी हेल्प यू लर्न इट्स अ वेरी पर्सनलाइज्ड लर्निंग प्लेटफार्म दैट्स आकाश बाइजूस लर्निंग प्लेटफार्म चलो नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द सेशन ऑफ एनिमल किंगडम आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू वंस अगेन टू लाइक द सेशन बिकॉज़ आप लाइक करोगे तो हमें भी अच्छा लगेगा Right? And this also helps, you know, YouTube will help it to spread it to all the students who wish to learn from us. Right? Like the session, subscribe the channel for all the updates that you require. 
Do comment if you have any doubts. And let's start with the animal kingdom. Yes, yes, I remember. Deepman, I do remember you. Chalo, aage chale. Deepman, I remember you. Poonam, good evening. Let's study. Animal Kingdom, ye sab humne padh liya already. Porifera, Cylindrata, Tinophora, Platyalminthes, Ascalminthes, Annelids. We have studied about Arthropods. We have studied about uh, Mollusks, Echinoderms. And then, last session we studied about Hemichordata or Chordates ke basic introduction is what we have studied. Hai na? Please in English. Yes. Manaya, right? Yes, no worries. English. We'll study in English. So what we are going to do, Josh is high, sir. Perfect, Vishmeda. Great. Classification of chordates. We'll see how we can classify the chordates or Prem. Good evening. And what are the basic criteria? I hope you have a pen and a paper and that notebook where you're taking running notes. Also, keep your NCRT open because I'm going to talk about and the registration done. Brilliant. I'm going to talk about what are the important portions from NCRT also. Hey na? So, you have to note that down. Correct. Chalo, shuru karte hai. So, this is one of my favorite portions for, from the uh, Animal Kingdom chapter. I hope I can make this favorite for you also. Chordates ko teen major division mein divide kar sakte. Chordates I'm talking about, right? Unicordata or also called Tunicata. Cephalochordata or and vertebrates, vertebrate. So, Uricordata, then uh, you have the Cephalochordata and you have vertebrates. Okay? All of you. Dhyan se sunna, zada discuss karne ki zarurat nahi. I'll ask you, whenever I ask you, you chat there. You discuss, right? So, pehle, what are these tunicata? Tunicates, kya hai? Uricordates, kya hai? Kaise, kab batayenge? Ye uricordate hai. Right? So, Eurocord data, we, let's study Eurocord data first. Ye kya hai? See the characteristic feature. Notochord, notochord is present, but kab? Only in larval stage. Notochord is present, but only in the larval stage. Please note it down. Dikh hai notochord? But this is the larva I am showing you. Right? This is the larva I am showing you. Note karo. Got it? Kyunki, when I move on to the cephalochordates, there will be a slight distinction and a better distinction difference between from the vertebrates. Got it? Post anal tail. Yeah. Kwasir, right? Aryan. See the example. Subphylum. I'm talking about vertebrates, right? I'm sorry, I'm talking about the chordates and unke subphylum I'm talking about. Subphylum. See, Ascidia, Salpa, Doliola. These are some of the examples. Got it? So, tunicata basically are those which have notochord, definitely. That's the reason they are placed under the kingdom, sorry, under the phylum chordates, but only during the larval stage. Theek hai? Fine all of you. Theek hai? Got it? So, in fact, in if you if you open up your NCRT, you will see it's it's already mentioned. Chordates ke basic cheez maine last session mein padha diya hai. It's clearly mentioned subphylum Eurocordata and Cephalochordata are often referred to as the protochordates. I'll talk about protochordates together when I've covered Cephalochordates also. Hai na? Chalo, aage bade. Up till now, baut asani hai, larval stage ho gaya. Cephalochordates, if I talk about that, Cephalochordates mein difference kya hoga fir? In Cephalochordates, yes, there's a notochord which extends from the head to the tail region and this is persistent throughout their lifetime. Persistent throughout their lifetime. It's, it's present from the head till the tail and it's there, wo rehta hai throughout its lifetime. But, but, I'm talking about notochord and not vertebral column. Not vertebral column. So, or ek bar. Tunicates. Eurocordata. In me, notochords hai. 
but in the larval stage. Cephalocordates may be notochordate, but ye throughout its lifetime milega. It's there, it is persistent, but it doesn't become vertebral column. Got it? They are exclusively marine. The notochord extends from the head to the tail, and this is persistent throughout the life. One example, okay? Got it? See here, branchiostoma. It's called branchiostoma, one of the examples which is important. Questions can be asked on this. Noted. Mana, you are not able to understand English. So, Mana, can you tell me, like, you want more of English or more of Hindi? I am not able to understand. I am trying to put it in English, but what do you want more? English or Hindi? Tell me. I will try that. No problem. Got it? Chalo, aage bade. Now, ab aate hai vertebrates. Vertebrates, how is it distinguished? Now, vertebrates kya hai? Members of the subphylum vertebrata. If I talk about, I am talking about the subphylums, right? Of chordates. So, there they possess the notochord during the embryonic period. Yes, notochord, but I am talking about the embryonic period. Got it? Embryo, right? Anna? This notochord is replaced, let me write down, this notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or a bony vertebral column as you can see in this picture in case of adults. So, embryonic stage when there is notochord, this is replaced by the vertebral column which is quite tough and bony, right? Got it? So, that's the reason they are called vertebrates, vertebrata. See here, the notochord is replaced by a bony vertebral column in the adults. Some of the examples see here, reptiles, fishes, rats, birds, mammals, amphibians and of course we human beings. Now, tunicata and, just like NCRT me likha hua tha, right, protochordates, hai na? Tunicata and cephalochordata or urochordata and cephalochordata, they are called protochordates. So, phylum urochordata and uh, cephalochordata is referred to protochordates. You know, the protochordates differ from the vertebrates chiefly in one particular characteristic feature. What? They do not have the backbone. The protochordates, they do not have the bad backbone. Hence, they are not vertebrates. Take. So, ab, now one statement. You know about this statement. Sir, why human beings die? Wow. That's a very, very, yes, exclusively marine. Correct. That's a very, I would say, interesting question. A basic reason, I would say, each and every cell in our body, we are composed of cells. Each and every cell has its lifetime. Has a particular time frame based on various conditions before it becomes worn out and it becomes, it can stay alive. And also the regenerating or rather the division division capacity, how much we can divide and for more new cells to replace the old and worn out cells, dying cells, also slows down as we age, right? So there are many factors which leads to aging, many factors that are which leads to aging. So, that's a very different uh, subject altogether. You need to study in detail to understand that. In fact, there are many research which is going on to understand human aging process also. So, now I can put a statement in front of you and that is all vertebrates are chordates. All vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates. Why? Because there are cephalochordates and urochordates. All of you agree to this? So we can change blood and start flowing of blood, the human is alive or not. I, I, I couldn't get your question. Okay? All of you agree to this point? All vertebrates are chordates, but chordates are not, all chordates are not vertebrates. Please note this down because questions can be asked on this. Okay? A quick question on your screen, give me the answer. The notochord is persistent throughout life in these are the options, urochordates and cephalochordates. Cephalochordates, urochordates and vertebrates, all chordates. Easy question, give me the answer quickly.
very easy question. Give me the answer. Hmm, B. B is the correct answer. Well, I agree so. I agree to it. And B is the correct answer. Very good. Uh, or a question. Tunicates have what? A vertebral column in the tail during the adult stage. A notochord in the tail during the larval stage. A notochord in the tail during the adult stage. And a vertebral column in the tail during the larval stage. Tell me the answer. Tunicates. I am talking about Eurocordata. Hmm. Vishwin is telling B, Kushi, B, Ritu, Aparna, Faran, B. Okay. Kiran, B, B. Uh, Chalo. Well, answer is B. That's right. Now, let's talk about the characteristics of the subphylum vertebrates. Okay. You know, uh, basic characteristics to chordates ka same hi Because this is also a chordate. But, specific kuch unique features hote which is there in the subphylum vertebrata. That is what we are going to discuss about. Fine? Okay. Characteristic features, a ventral muscular heart. They have a ventral muscular heart. Take Fishes, if I talk about fishes, see, let's talk about heart. Sabke same chambers nahi hote. If I talk about fishes, they have ventral muscular heart with two chambers. Okay, atrium and ventricle. Do chamber. Fine. If I talk about reptiles and amphibians, they have three chambered heart. They have three chambered heart. Take. Kya dekh rao? You have the right auricle, left auricle, left ventricle. Uh, sorry, the ventricle. Ventricle one, two auricle. Right? Hmm? This heart, this heart looks somewhat like what we have studied for human wings. Hai na? But four chambered nahi hai. Hamare mein we have four chambered but they have three chambered. Reptiles and amphibians. If I talk about birds and mammals, they have four chambered heart. Like we have four chambered heart. Two atria and two ventricles. Got it? Okay. This heart is located in the pericardial cavity. Crocodiles have four chambered. This is an exception. Farhan, very good. Very good. Take. So, our heart is located in the pericardial cavity. Jab mein padha raha tha, basic features of chordates, I explained you about the cavity, right? Siloam, remember? Pericardial cavity. Now, vertebrates have kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation. Definitely true. Thick. So, vertebrates, we also have kidneys for excretion and that helps in the osmoregulation. Level of organization? Of course, that is very simple. We have organ system level of organization. We have organ system level of organization. Now, we have talked about uh, appendages, right? Jointed appendages. Can you tell me? Joint appendages. Where did we study? Come on. Also, share the session quickly to all your friends so that they can also join in for this session. Tell me. Ritu, correct. Arthro. Yes, यहाँ पे paired appendages, fins और limbs. देखो यहाँ पे इनके पास limbs हैं, इनके पास fins हैं. Okay? So vertebrates, I can say the locomotory structures can be arms, they can be legs, wings, flippers. These are all basically examples of the limbs. ठीक है? And usually they are found in pairs. So question, quick question. The common feature of all vertebrates is the presence of limbs for locomotion, an open circulatory system, a persistent notochord, a dorsal heart. Tell me what is the answer for this particular question? What is the answer for this particular question? Give me the answer quickly. Kiran. Achha. C. I am asking you. Common. Common feature of all vertebrates. Vertebrates. C. Answer is C. Okay. Hmm. Answer is C. Achha. I'll give you the answer. It's A. Notochord kaha se aagaya vertebrates mein? Notochord to transform ho pe. Okay. Vertebral column to backbone ban jata hai. Are. What answer are you giving? It's A. Limbs for locomotion. Abhi to padaya Got it? All of you convinced why this is A? 
All of you, can I get a yes on the chat? All of you convinced why this answer is A? Uh, sorry, A. Galat soch liya na, Kiran? Chalo, yes sir. Classification of vertebrata. So, vertebrates ko aap do major class, uh, division mein classify karenge. Agna tha, that means they lack the jaws. We have the jaws. And nathostomata, which bears the jaws. Thick agnatha which lacks jaws and nathostomata which bears the jaws. You know, uh, kabhi ek bar mein ek trip pe gaya tha, which was uh, a fishing trip but yes the, 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 the boat did not look so fancy like this but I am showing you. Itna fancy nahi tha, ek normal sa boat tha I went, it was very early in the morning. You know, uh, on the eastern coastal areas, I was like, I was going to go one time. So I went there. So some fishes, jab, uh, they, they caught those fishes. But, uh, huh. So, okay. So we got uh, a lot of fishes. The, the, the fishermen, they caught. But some fishes, I was like, I was like, a very... अजीब सा और dangerously wounded दिख रहे थे and एक basic सा pattern दिख रहा था ऐसे ऐसे एक basic सा pattern दिख रहा था पता है ये क्यों हुआ है this is because of another organism which is parasitic in nature है ना which belongs to the super class super class अग्ना था they lack jaws they fall under the class Cyclostomata. I'll talk about it. These are the parasitic lampreys. See here. They can suck blood. See the division now. So they belong to the class Cyclostomata. On the other hand, Nathostomata, the super class, it can be divided into Pisces, that means which bear fins, and Tetrapoda, Tetrapoda, that means limbs. Tetra, four limbs. A Pisces may chondrichthys and ostrichthys. We'll study about amphibians, reptiles, apes, and mammalia in under the tetrapods. But Abhi, what we'll study is the class cyclostomata. We'll study the class cyclostomata. Let's start with the class cyclostomata quickly. Chalo. Characteristic features they are marine, they have elongated body, but they are devoid of scales. Please note karo ye. Petromyzon, lamprey, very common. Okay, hackfish is another one. And here there are many varieties. This is the Petromyzon, which is the lamprey, and Myxin, which is the hagfish. These are, these belong to the class Cyclostomata and they lack jaws. So, division Agnatha. Okay? Now, they have gill slits. 5 to 15 pairs of gill slits, 5 to 15 pairs of gill slits, pairs matlab dono side mein, ye toh ek side dikh raha hai, dousre side mein bhi hai, toh 6 se, sorry, 6 to 15, 6 se 15 ke beech mein hota hai, lack appendages or fins, specific fin like structure yaha pe dikho ge, baaki fin nahi hai, hote hai, see here, how dangerous they are, these are ectroparasitic in nature, thik hai, they are ectoparasites on some fishes. They are ectoparasites on some fishes. They will stick to the body and they will suck blood. They have teeth but they don't have jaws. They have sucking circular mouth without the jaws. Theke? The circular mouth is attached on the body surface of the host. And it is able to suck blood. It is able to puncture that layer and suck blood got it and in fact they can suck blood so much that the other organism can die yes fine uh koi question miss ho gaya kya hmm chalo और क्लास के टाइमिंग्स के बारे में अगर पूछना है, so you know just go and visit the community posts. We have updated all the upcoming classes. ठीक? 
Characteristic features, they have a closed circulatory system, definitely yes, cartilaginous cranium and vertebral column. Take cranium hai, cartilaginous and vertebral column bhi hai. Got it? Now, see here. Agar cartilaginous skeleton tum dekhoge, so it, it's, it's like a lot flexible and rubbery in nature. But if, if you see the bony skeleton, it's quite hard and rigid in nature. Okay, this is the difference, cartilaginous versus the bony skeleton. Ab cyclostomata ke reproduction ki baat karo, it's very interesting. You know, first let's talk about the juvenile. Migration of the adults into the streams. Jab adults ho jate, wo streams mein aa jate. Hai na? Chalo, aage se padte. So, once they come to the streams, spawning. Okay, spawning happens. And after that, they stop feeding and they die due to this. Death of adults after spawning. Spawning ho gaya. So, wahan se hatch karke lava banenge. Got it? Emergence from the steam beds. Stream bed se ye jo lampreys ye wo nikalte hai. Downstream migration to the ocean. Kyunki ye mein streams ke baat kar raho. Wo ocean se nikal ke streams mein aake spawning karte hai. And then they become the adult phase and then this continues. Got it? Fine? Okay. So, larvae after metamorphosis, they will return to the ocean. So, got it? Cyclostomata? Fine? Ab, ab mein baat karta hon, nathostomata, that means which bears jaws. I'm talking about the superclass, Pisces, and first I'm talking about the chondrichthys. See ya. Sawfish, aapne dekha hoga. Shark, dekha hoga. Hai na? Dogfish, scolioda. Pristis is the scientific name of sawfish. Characteristic features of the class, convictus. Habitat, marine. They are marine. In ke body, ek bhoat specific structure hai. And that is called the streamlined body. In fact, aap agar dekho ke ke, aeroplanes, they also have a streamlined body. It's nothing just to reduce friction and which helps you to move through air in case of the planes, right? Similarly, the birds and water in case of these organisms. Streamlined body, see here. Non-streamlined shape, dekh rahe ho? Streamlined shape, is tarikhe se wo cut karte hai, so that it can reduce down the friction and move fast. They can really move fast, hai na? Got it? So, they have placoid scales. They have placoid scales. Skin, in ke kafi tough hote hai, which contain minute placoid scales. Thick, these are tough scales. Now, यहाँ पे बाहर देखोगे तो spiny projections रहते हैं. They are spiny projections. I'll talk in both languages, okay? For buoyancy, reduce water friction. Buoyancy के लिए किरण थोड़ा सा different चीज. The air bladder helps buoyancy में. यहाँ पे movement and friction reduce करने के लिए obviously. ठीक है? अब the mouth are ventrally located. Got it? See the fins, dorsal fins, the anal fins. Now, see. Teeth, they have definitely, they have teeth in multiple rows. They are modified placoid scales. These are nothing but placoid scales which are modified and they act as teeth. See the upper jaw, which is like knife. Lower jaw is like the fork. The jaws are definitely powerful. I need not put enough amount of emphasis here, you know it. Right? These organisms. Hai na? Predacious in nature. They prey upon the other fishes. Got it? They have gill slits without operculum. This is a very important characteristic feature. They do have gill slits. Ye dikh hai? Gill slits. They do have gill slits but operculum which is the covering. Wo covering nahi rehta hai. Opaculum kya hai? Mai dikha See here. Kuch fishes mein ye wala structure dikh raha hai? Flap type. This flap type. This is the covering which covers the gill slits. Thik hai? Fine. Gills ko jab expose karna hai, you know, for the movement of the water and the, hence the exchange, wo usko upar kar lete hai. Opaculum. It acts as a cover for the gills. Thik? This is, you will find this in most of the freshwater fishes, but absent in fishes which belong to the class, Convict this. 
they are not present in the class chondrichthys. Please note this down. They have cartilaginous endoskeleton. They have cartilaginous endoskeleton. The mouth is niche ke tarah, ventral. Ventrally located mouth. I have already shown this. And yes, up. Up baat aati swimming ki. Sharks, they have, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Air bladder is absent in case of shark. So sharks will have to continuously swim because in ke paas air bladder nahi hai. To buoyancy zyada maintain nahi kar paate hai. To unko, you know, float karne ke liye so that they do not uh, drown. They have to constantly swim. So they do not have the air bladders. Par kuch mein air bladders hai. Swim bladders like which, which is more like a air pocket. Okay? It helps in maintaining the buoyancy. But if you see, here I am showing a goldfish. Goldfish, in ke paas swim bladder hai. It helps it to float. Jabke sharks ke paas, they do not have these air bladders and hence they have to continuously swim to avoid sinking. Got it? Yaha pe dekho. Goldfish mein. They have the bladder. Air bladder, so it can ek jaga pe wo float kar sakte. But sharks can't. You will always find sharks moving. Uh, K, whatever is your name, I'm trying to in, talk in both English and Hindi. Hai na? Yung kuch bache nahi samaj paayenge agar if I just talk in Hindi. Got it? Characteristic features, heart, two chamber hai. Two chambered heart, one auricle, one auricle and one ventricle. Two chambered heart. Structure dekh lo. I think I have shown this structure before, before also. These are poikilotherms. That means they are cold blooded organisms. It's ka matlab kya hai? They cannot maintain their body temperature. It depends. Their body temperature, internal temperature fluctuates based on the external temperature. Thick. If I talk about the sexes, they are separate. They have separate sexes. See here. Claspers. I am showing a male chondrichthys. Sexes are separate. Males may, pelvic region may, if you see, pelvic fins, they bear the claspers. Ab claspers ka kaam kya hai? We show it to you, wait. Ha. They have claspers. Internal fertilization hota hai. Got it? Claspers act like a channel in channelizing the semen into the female cloaca. This is during the mating process I am talking about. So claspers serve as a channel to pass on the semen to the female body. Got it? Fertilization the internal hota hai. And they are viviparous. Matlab, they give birth to young ones directly. Hai na? Viviparous. Yes, Bishmita, correct. Birth to young ones directly. Perfect. Now, class conductress, they have some special characteristic features. I will show it to you. Presence of the poison sting. If I talk about uh, trigon, stingray, it is also called stingray. Okay? Ye, this contains poison. It helps in their defense mechanism. Some like the torpedo, it has got a specific or a special electric organ which can give an electric shock to its prey and paralyze it. Got it? So these are some of the specific special features. So we have been discussing about the chondrichthys. So we have discussed about cyclostomata. Now we are discussing about the chondrichthys. Okay? A very interesting sir, I'll show you. I'll show you a very interesting organism and that is the seahorse. I'm showing you a pregnant seahorse. Fine? Now see this. A very interesting way of releasing this. What, you, what you're seeing is a seahorse giving birth to the young ones. And do you know this is a male seahorse? Unlike the common thing which we know Females give birth to young ones. Here, it is the male. Okay? Traditional jo role, hai, which we know that the females give birth to young ones, here it, they swap it. Got it? 
और ये कैसे होता है हाउ डू थिंक इट इज गोइंग हैपन फीमेल्स द डिपोजिट द एग्स इन द मेल पाउच ये जो पाउच दिख रहा है है ना सो ये पाउच में द डिपोजिट द एग्स फीमेल्स विल डिपोजिट द एग्स so this is a very natural phenomena in case of the sea horses hence these babies develop there in the male pouches and the male pouches give release these babies okay chalo now now let's talk about the ostrichthys chondrichthys done so far sea horse also falls under the chondrichthys now i'm going to talk about the ostrichthys take katla it's very common and the flying fish you must have seen in a lot of movies hai na some more examples see here ostrichthys labio rohu uh, people who have been having fishes they will know this okay magor clarius okay now so characteristics of class ostrichthys is what i'm going to discuss right now characteristics of the class ostrichthys theek hai bahut aaram aaram se छोटे छोटे पॉइंट्स में मैं आपको समझा दे रहा हूं सो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन अदरवाइज विल स्टार्ट इल कीप फॉरगेटिंग बिकॉज वी हैव हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट अ लॉट इन दिस एनिमल किंगडम चैप्टर हैबिटेट फ्रेश वाटर हो सकता है मराइन मराइन हो सकता है ठीक द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज ऑफकोर्स द स्ट्रीम लाइन बॉडी यू नो अबाउट वॉट इज वट डज इट मीन बाय हैविंग a streamlined body okay so ncrt may be you know they have talked about uh, the cyclostomata chondrichthys they have talked about ostrichthys they have talked about which is what i am talking about now got it fine okay great anything that i have missed from ncrt i think no burglotherms have talked about uh, great 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 ओके परफेक्ट चलो फाइन एनीथिंग फ्रॉम योर साइड अभी तो बाकी है बेटा देखो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दीज ये सारे चार क्लासेस तो हमें कंप्लीट करना है है ना नाउ सो स्ट्रीमलाइन बॉडी यू अंडरस्टूड यहां पे बाउंथ इज नॉट वेंट्रल अनलाइक द कॉन्ट्रिक्थिस कॉन्ट्रिक्थिस में व्हाट यू सॉ शार्क्स में जैसे वेंट्रल नीचे के तरफ है बट यहां पे ये एंटीरियर टर्मिनल पोजीशन सामने के टर्मिनल पोजीशन के तरफ ये माउथ प्रेजेंट है टर्मिनल माउथ डू यू सी इट नाउ बोनी एंडो स्केलेटन स्केलेटन अंदर की तरफ रहते हैं एंड इट इज ऑफकोर्स अ बोनी स्ट्रक्चर इट्स अ बोनी एंडो There are four pairs of gills covered by operculum. Before this, sharks में क्या पढ़े थे कि operculum नहीं है, gill slits है पर operculum नहीं है पर यहाँ पे they have operculum. Ostrichthys they have operculum. Now their skin is covered by scales and they have a typical type of a scale and that is a cycloid or tenoid scales. Cycloid scales दिख रहा है कैसे? इनके edges cycloid scale के जो टिपिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स है प्लेकॉइड ना जनरली ट्रायंगुलर इन शेप होता है और साइक्लॉइड स्केल्स आर स्मूथ दे हैव स्मूथ एजेस एंड ओवरलैपिंग स्केल्स है इफ यू सी दे विल हैव ओवरलैपिंग स्केल्स तो आप एक तरफ अगर हाथ ऐसे फेरोगे ना सो इट विल बी स्मूथ दूसरी तरफ फेरोगे तो इट विल बी रफ स्किन कवर्ड विद साइक्लॉइड स्केल सी अ कैसे दिखता है है ना दे हैव स्मूथ एजेस अनलाइक द प्लेकॉइड व्हिच हैज you know uh, quite sharp and uh, triangular in shape thick so these scales are arranged in overlapping manner correct but ek cheez hai ye scales ke edges pe thoda sa comb like structure dikhega you will see the comb like structure as you can see here okay tenoid scales presence of air bladder yes buoyancy regulation that means they can swim and they can stay at one position and you know they can stabilize themselves because they have this buoyancy controller or buoyancy regulator which is the presence of air bladder unlike the sharks which has to swim continuously so that it does not sink but these have the air bladder got it see here swim bladder this is the swim bladder 
ठीक है टू चेंबर्ड हार्ट वन ऑरिकल एंड वन वेंट्रिकल दे हैव टू चेंबर्ड हार्ट वन ऑरिकल एंड वन वेंट्रिकल सी अ ऑरिकल डू यू सी द वेंट्रिकल हियर एंड दैट्स इट गिल्स के थ्रू ऑफ कोर्स यू नो द फंक्शन ऑफ गिल्स आई नीड नॉट टेल इट टू यू एनी मोर बिकॉज यू हैव स्टार्टेड इट सिंस चाइल्डहुड गिल्स में जाके गेशियस एक्सचेंज होता है है ना हमारे जैसे कहां पे होता है लंग्स में फिश के एग देखो हाउ इट इज प्लेस्ड दिस इज नॉट वन एग बट अ क्लस्टर ऑफ फिश एग्स क्लस्टर ऑफ फिश एग्स देर ओवी पेरस नॉट वीवी पेरस ओवी पेरस दैट मीन्स एग लेंग एनिमल्स ओके फर्टिलाइजेशन एक्सटर्नल होता है इनका फर्टिलाइजेशन विल है एक्सटर्नली एंड दर सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट अगेन स्पेसिफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ठीक है कैसे होता है फीमेल्स विल ले द एग्स मेल्स मेल फिशेस विल स्प्रेड स्पॉम्प ओवर द एग्स तो बाहरी फर्टिलाइजेशन हो जाएगा ठीक डेवलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट एंड यू नो वॉट डज इस मीन ठीक है कोई लावल स्टेज नहीं है डायरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट होगा फाइन गॉड इट एक बार डिफरेंस बता दो परमेश राइट देखो बेटा नोटो कॉड स्पाइनल कॉड और आता था वर्टिब्रल कॉलम अगर मैं बताऊं नोटो कॉड से डेवलप होता है दिस इज द मोर कार्टिलिजनस एंड अ बोनी स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज वर्टिब्रल कॉलम अनलाइक द नोटो कॉड चलो ये देखो आपने आई लाइक वॉचिंग फिशेज इन द एक्वेरियम्स एंड द पैटर्न हाउ दे मूव देर आर मेनी ब्यूटिफुल फिशेज You know, these are called better fishes, fighting fishes. जितना अच्छा दिखता है उतने अच्छे है नहीं ये एक्चुअली लड़ाई करते हैं Class Agnatha, Cyclostomata, Hemichordata, Cord, Chondrichthys. Without jaws. Without jaws. Come on, tell me. What is the answer? Hmm. Correct. Agnatha. Very good. ठीक है? Got it? So, वैसे यहां पे अगर मैं सवाल ये कर रहा हूं वर्टिब्रेट विदाउट जॉज आर इंक्लूड इन क्लास अब एक चीज बता देता हूं टू बी टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक क्लास तो साइक्लोस्टोमाटा भी है है ना तो दिस कैन बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल्सो अग्रीड दिस कैन बी द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल्सो सो यहां पे अग्ना था बिकम्स अ डिविजन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट समझ रहे हो दिस इज द डिविजन तो यहां पे एग्जैक्ट आंसर शुड बी साइक्लोस्टोमाटा इट इज नॉट करेक्टली मेंशन दिस इज इनकरेक्ट साइक्लोस्टोमाटा आई एम टॉकिंग क्लास यस यस वेंकटेश शुड बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सचिन अंडरस्टूड गॉट इट परफेक्ट चलो सो अब तक इतना पढ़ चुके हम अगली क्लास में आई एल स्टार्ट विथ दिस दीज इन फैक्ट Wednesday 6 p.m. I'm going to talk about tetrapoda, where I'm going to talk about amphibia, reptilia, aves, and mammalia. Okay. So, आज के लिए इतना ही. Keep revising whatever I have taught you. Do not forget to revise whatever we have been teaching. I have been teaching. Many different teachers are coming up, and just do not focus on bio because other subjects are also necessary for you to crack the NEET examination. Okay. So, that's it for today. Thank you for joining in. Please share this session, subscribe the channel so that you get all the updates as fast as possible. So for today, I'll say goodbye. Keep revising. Stay happy. Good night.